So you want to upgrade from your venture to get some ore mining going to a prospect and you're looking for a build. That's this video. Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Name's Loru, digital advertiser, content creator, and you enjoy her for the better part of 10 years now. Thank you very much for getting me to 1100 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Let's dive in. This is it. The prospect, the excellent stealthy lad, and we're going to show you exactly what you need here. From the top, the total fit cost is if you use minor twos we're gonna talk about this it's about 30 million so not too pricey at all it's a great ship let's start with minor twos and why we have something else over here so there's something called residue we're gonna touch on this very briefly because it's extremely important to understand this a minor one is gonna take 40 m3 in mining amount from the asteroids but has a zero percent residue multiplier this means that residue is never going to happen with a minor one a minor two gets 60 so it gets 50 percent more uh, output from the mining asteroid from the asteroid into your cargo hold but has a massive probability 34 percent over one third of the time you're going to burn off some of the asteroids so that's what the residue does if you mine 100 ore and the residue procs, you still get 100 ore, but the asteroid 30% or whatever it is burns off of the asteroid. It basically means, what residue means, is that you burn through asteroids faster. So you're going to spend more time taxiing from asteroid to asteroid or from, or from belt to belt. That's the gist of it. So the ore miner, which is very expensive, 145 million, has a 0% residue chance and it has 85 M3. So it's got more than double the mining amount of a base miner one and the trade-off of the cost is you have zero residue so you're gonna you're gonna get a hundred percent of that asteroid and none of it's gonna get burned off but it is expensive all that said you can use a miner two that's okay i do recommend using a miner two as that time saved in the uh, mining amount is going to help you it only gets a cost to 30 million okay with that said we ball out, baby. We got two, count them, two ore, ore miners right here. Any uh, Yuri's Revenge fans? Thank you very much. Uh, two ore miners here. We are going to be able to get 556 with my skills, and I have one augmentation. I'll briefly list that. We got ourselves a, uh, this is my crappy mining alt, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we got 3% bonus to mining gear. That's the only augmentation we have with the rest of my skills. We're getting about 556 M3. Incredible stuff. So I've said enough about the miners. Let's keep on going. Cover Cloak. This is is the point of the ship a uh, afterburner 2 and a survey scanner 2 now the cpu is very tight on this ship so if you can't fit the survey scanner that's okay both of our rigs are actually cpu focused small processor overclocking units they increase the ship cpu by what is that a uh, seven percent sure excellent increase the cpu so we can fit the survey scanner if you can fit it it really does help so definitely do that four mining laser twos now the thinking here is that your goal with this ship is to mine as and fill up your hold as fast as possible and go drop off the ore. You're really vulnerable while you're mining the ore from gankers. So you wanna maximize the time or minimize time, excuse me, that you're mining the ore and then get the hell out. There's a theme of my recent videos. Thank you very much. So ore mining laser twos. I've seen some people put expanded cargo holds in here, uh, other stuff in those damage controls. Sure, do what you will. I like the four mining laser upgrades. There's some ideas for you too. Uh, there's no drone holds here. You're going to be sig tanking with the prospect okay so you're going to be that's right uh, here five percent reduction to ship signature radius that's what the afterburner is for you're going to be going fast and orbiting things we're going to show you how in just a moment uh this is going to avoid most of the npc shots this with the afterburner and the reduction in your signature radius is going to be extremely difficult to hit the prospect so i really do recommend this ship and this is really uh here's a quick little thing in in before we go to actually like in the field showing stuff the prospect is such a good all-around ship because it has the covert ops because it's got the sig tank you can really do a lot more than just mine with this i really recommend thank you that you get in this ship as soon as you can even if you're not a miner because it really does does do a lot of things so let's check out how it's going to go in space in just a moment all right ladies and gentlemen we got a clip here of when i was doing some prospect mining i'm not doing this live i'm going to commentate over it this that way y'all can see it happen and i can focus on the commentary okay i was nervous af in this because i was absolutely having a great time that day found us some crystalline crookite this is the one you want to go for ladies and gentlemen so we're in low sec we're orbiting this asteroid because let's talk about that first because the asteroid's big it's massive we're orbiting it at about three we're going to talk about what's on the screen in just a moment if there's a smaller asteroid orbit it at about 10 
that's the uh, the numbers that I would go, but play around with it. You want to go fast. See how I'm going about a thousand in the bottom middle of the uh, screen, a thousand, twenty-eight, thousand, thirty-ish. This combined with our less signature radius is going to let the NPCs, and as you can see, we've got two battleships and a, and a battle cruiser coming at us, and they are not able to hit us. We are taking, if we're taking damage, our shield repairs it and call it a day. So first step, find your ore orbit it in such a way that you are not taking any damage with your afterburner on the second thing that you're going to see is what i'm doing i'm checking out people in local we're looking at their security status we're looking at which alliance they're in i'm taking note of how active their account has been with if you see somebody whose account is like active for less than a week that's spooky that's real spooky and you got to get on high alert this might be some kind of ganking all summer's gonna go right past that battleship super fun i love that you're gonna check out the people in local you're also going to be checking out your D-scan. Something I recommend you do that I didn't do here is remove Triglavian entities from your D-scan. They're really cluttering up my, like, D-scan right here. So you're looking for probes. You're looking for the kind of ships that are around, okay? And you're going to just try to use this as a way to see what's coming for you. If you see something like a Tengu or something like a, a, a Proteus or a Gnosis, some of these known ganger ships, start aligning yourself just in case. This happened many, many times, not on this clip, but many, many times to me, I'll see any kind of Tech 3 ship, and I'm like, well... Here comes the ganker. I start aligning myself, and sure enough, they pop on grid. Whether or not the uh, they get decloaked, whether or not I get the hell out in time uh, as they decloak, I haven't gotten ganked yet in this thing. The point is, make sure you're using the D scan, using local to check stuff out. The final thing you're gonna, you're going to look at here is we have our miners stacked. They're not starting at the same point. We get one to about fifty percent, and then we start the next one. That way, they're just cycling through. Why that is is because I've had many many times where a ganker comes on grid and I line out, and I don't remember to turn off my miners because they're just like you know the chaos of not wanting to get ganked right and i've had them not deposit ore into my mining hold so that full like three minute minute and a half whatever the cycle is it doesn't give me any ore if the ganker comes in so this is just a way to like guarantee that i'm really getting as as efficient as possible with my mining it's just a little pet peeve of mine i really enjoy doing that so i like having my mining hold up on screen so i can see how close we are to being full the thing i didn't do this time is pop my service scanner because there's just one big thing a crystalline crookite that's what i'm going to be going for that's it you navigate to low sec you orbit the asteroid in such a way you're going really fast so the embassies can't hit you you watch local you check your d scan you keep your pvp tab up notice i don't have the mining tab up i got the pvp tab just to check if anything's coming on great and that's basically it uh for the prospect if you enjoyed the video, make sure you press like and sub. Again, thank you for 1,100 subscribes. I really appreciate it. You're going to see a bunch of other EVE content come on your screen in just a moment. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.